over it. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Our week of summer family fun continues with Consumer Reporter Steve Noviello. After his stories, people always say, what was that site? What was that site? So get, get out your pencil or pen uh, and get ready to jot these down. He has some really fun ideas this morning. Uh, so the first spot, something really, really neat, right, Steve? Yeah, good morning to you guys. You know, really popular segment this week. And for a minute there, I thought I was a pretty popular guy because we rolled up here at the Bureau of Engraving and Printing this morning. There's people everywhere. They're actually security guards because there is a ton of money on the table. You thought the $10,000 bill was impressive. How about about $1.6 million in cash right here? And the woman who's got her eye on me and it this morning, Charlie Williams, the Associate Director of Manufacturing here. Really an interesting facility here. I mean, this is where the cash comes from. Absolutely. And good morning, Steve. We're glad to have you guys here. And, you know, this is a great opportunity for people to come in and learn all about how you United States paper currency is produced. You know, they have an opportunity. We produce seven different denominations here at this facility. You know, people love the twos, the lovely intaglio printing that yeah. is there, how nice and I deep and heavy it is. I'm not going to lie. Well, and the hundreds <laughs> came out this year, October the 8th. They're in circulation. You can actually get a hundred. You know, when we talk about the process, we really mean soup to nuts here. I mean, we start with the, with the linen paper with the hundreds, yes, right? absolutely. Yep. And then we have back printing. So you love the hundred. Here's the hundred. <laughs> this is the back printing of it, and then this is the face printing. And you know, the, also these notes you can designate that they're produced in Fort Worth by the small FW. Oh, very. So anybody right who's got cash in their wallet so looks at the FW, and you know it comes from right yes, here in Fort Worth. Yes, and there's two places that produce United States paper currency here in Fort Worth, Texas, and in Washington D.C. Fort Worth produces about 60% of the nation's currency order, and Fort Worth produces about 40%. We've got some video to show folks while we're talking here. We actually saw the machine in this facility here. It's about half a length of a football field, right? I mean, yes. so big that they actually had to make a walkthrough so people could kind of get from one side to the other. And that's really how this whole process starts, right? From the, the nickel-plated plates um, through the printing and then the bundling, right? Yes. And so the piece of equipment that you saw here is the latest piece of equipment. It's called a large examining printing equipment and it incorporates the Federal Reserve seal and the Treasury seal onto the note as is printed and actually this year we're making history here in Fort Worth Texas we've gone from this is a 32 subject one dollar sheet okay so this is what was this is what was this is what is and this is, is what is and this is the new series this is the new Secretary Liu and Treasurer Rios notes yeah. this is really um, productivity at its best for efficiencies. And when we talk about, you know, I mean, to, to you, this is just a bunch of product, but really a big deal here. I mean, this is the first time since, what, the 50s or 70s that a major change has been made? Actually, uh, 1957 okay. was the last time that there was a different subject sheet size. Wow. It went from 18 notes to 32 in 1957. And then this year, in February of 2014, we went from 32 subject to 50 subject. And so we've got about a 40% increase in productivity from going from a larger subject sheet size. Let's run it down here for folks. So first up, um, I mean, you guys have plenty of money here, so you're not charging anybody any money to get in. This is all free, yeah, it's right? It's all free. Great yes. for the family to come to. Uh, and really, uh, there's a couple of special events coming up. Uh, end of yes. June, beginning of July, with uh, some of the, um, the the skilled workers here. Tell me about that. Yes. So our uh, employees, they love showing off what they do. They're very <laughs> proud of what they do. And so we actually do live demonstrations the last full week of June, last full week of July. And our plate printers, our photo engravers, our plate makers, people who are crafts employees here, and they're very proud of the product that they produce. Uh, it gives the public a great opportunity to come in and learn all about what goes into making Making United States paper cards. Excellent. And speaking of what they produce, real quick, check this out: sixty-four million dollars sitting right here, and of course under close watch. I want to show you something else you can't see. Take a look over here. Coming up in the next half hour, we've got six more fun family things to do. Now that the kids are out of uh, out of school, we're going to see it in the next half hour of Good Day. For now, we are live out in Fort Worth. Back to you guys in Dallas. We're like all checking our dollar bills to yeah. see if they're printed in Fort Worth. <laughs> and it seems like dollars. they are. I have yes. a bunch right? of them. Neat. Yeah. Look at the things you learn on Good Meanwhile, Day. that little boy has been put See to that? Work. <laughs> educational. Educational programming. Oh. Thank you so much, Steve.